In this illustration, we intend to simulate a three-story shear wall undergoing a cyclic loading in the Abacus software. As you observe in this picture, the three-story shear wall is composed of two columns, three beams, three plates, and a few stiffeners. In this picture, the deformation of a three-story shear wall having been made as a result of a cyclic loading can be clearly observed in the Abacus software. In this picture, the formation of the shear wall has been compared with those results gained from the laboratory. As you see, there is a good conformity between the results obtained from the Abacus software with those gained from the laboratory. In this question, a cyclic loading is applied to the top beam of the shear wall and the hysteresis diagram of the three-story shear wall will be drawn. In this picture, you can compare the diagram of the hysteresis obtained from the Abacus software with the results obtained from the experimental results. Actually, we are going to simulate this article in the Abacus software titled Ductility and Energy Dissipation Capacity of Shear-Dominated Steel Plate Walls. In this picture, the three-story shear wall having been modeled in the Abacus software is observed in which the proportions and sizes of beams, columns, and other parts and sections have been distinguished accordingly. And this one equal to 150 millimeters as well. Then click on Done. The length of the column is equal to 3550 millimeters. Again, I'll click on Create Section. Select Shell, Homogeneous, and Continue. Here I'll select Plate Material. The thickness of plate is equal to 4 millimeters. And OK. In the next step, I will click on Create Section again. I will click on Linear Pattern, select the column, Done. Click on Translate Instance, select the column, Done. First select this point, then this one, and OK. Again, I will click on Create Instance, enter the beams on the second and third stories into the Assembly section. Click on Translate Instance, select the beam, Done. First, select this point, then this one, and OK.
As you observe in this picture, the deformation obtained from the abacus software with that got from the laboratory model are quite identical. Actually, if you note carefully the formation in this area, you will observe that the deformation of the laboratory model is quite the same as that obtained from the Abacus software. In the next step, we intend to draw the hysteresis diagram of the shear wall. Actually, we intend to draw this diagram in the Abacus software. To do so, I will click on Create XPy Data, then select ODB History Output and Continue. Here, I will select Reaction Force directed at Z and Displacement directed at Z2 and then click on Save As in this manner. In the next step, I'll click on Create XY Data, then Operate on XY Data, and Continue. Here, I'll select Combine Operator. I will select Displacement on X Axis, select Reaction Force for Y Axis, and click on Save As in this manner. In the next step, I'll transfer this diagram to the Excel software. The first column is displacement, the unit of which is millimeter. Here, the blue diagram is the diagram having been obtained from Abacus software, and the black one is the diagram obtained from laboratory results. As it can be clearly observed, the, the results obtained from the Abacus software are quite the same as those mentioned in the article, and they are extremely precise. So since the results gained are quite identical with those obtained from laboratory, it indicates that this analysis has been done properly and correctly in the Abacus software.